Well, hello, everybody. I hope you all are having a fantastic day today. Hope everything is going phenomenally on this, well, rainy, dreary Saturday down here in Austin, Texas, at any rate. Uh, I have definitely had a, uh, a morning, at the very least. I've had a morning, for sure. But I am super, super ready to play some Secret of Mana right now. Uh, this is a childhood gem of mine, something I, a game I, I just love. Uh, it's truly, truly, truly an amazing game. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys are ready for a fun little day here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jump back into regular old. Uh, see if we can get to pick up. There we go. So without further ado, I bring to you Secret of Mana. Oh man, the music brings me back. Darkness sweeps the troubled land as mana's power fades. People await a hero who will wield the sword. Excalibur, Herald, Gygus. The blade had many names, for it has been celebrated in myths and legends throughout time. But all of these speak to just one weapon, the Sword of Mana. And so, now my original character was named Kid. I don't actually know what his name is supposed to be. So we're gonna call him Mike. Boom, got there. Using the power of mana, a civilization had grown strong. In time, mana was used to create the ultimate weapon, the Mana Fortress. This angered the gods. They sent their beasts to destroy the fortress. A violent war rocked the world and mana seemed to disappear. Before all was lost, a hero with the mana sword smashed the fortress. Though the civilization had been destroyed, the world was peaceful again. But time flows like a river, and history repeats. Hey, guys, wait up. Be quiet. The elder will find us here and he'll be mad. Yeah. We're not supposed to be here. There's a ghost around. Yeah. Do you really believe that? People say that to scare us. But I heard Grandma say something about a shiny object near the falls. That must be some kind of treasure. We have to find it. Help! I'm falling! Ah! 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 Oh no. Oh no. Oh! Ouch! Phew! No way to get back up. Now what am I gonna do? What are we gonna do? Guess it's boss time. No. No. That's a different game. Okay. Let's go, uh, well, I guess we're on the path down the river. There's some grass, some trees. Huh. Seems like a nice, pleasant little place, doesn't it? Mike. Mike. What? Question mark, question mark. Ooh. Who would leave such a nice, fancy sword just out in the open like that? The 
village is this way. I have to find something to cut through. Yeah, this brush is too thick. Hmm, maybe I can go up and around? No, doesn't seem like that's an option. Huh, how am I ever gonna get through those bushes? Oh, look, it's a sword. Perfect timing. I bet that can cut through those bushes. Let me just pull it out of this stump. Mike, remove the sword. Who's, who said that? Who are you? And, and what's the sword doing here? Huh. Huh? Ow, that light. So bright. I can't see. Ah, uh, ghost. Mike, it is I who asked the sword. Huh? What? Say what? You mean this sword? The Sword of Mana. The brilliant light is gone in an instant. I have to get back to the village. Tell them what happened, how, how the sword was doing weird things. Also, cheers everybody. I hope you're ready for a fun day of Secret of Mana and uh, Storybook Brawl. This game, ah, oh, playing this game is like a dream come true for me. I love it. Oh, it's a monster. What? What's a rabbi doing in a place like this? Wasn't here before. What are you doing, Mr. Rabbi? Huh. Why is there a rabbi here? Are there enemies so back here now too? No, no enemies here. Weird. I guess that rabbi must have been there all along. Well, let's whack it. Yeah. Whack it. Do it all wacky. So, one thing you'll notice about this game that I'm, it's a, uh, it's an action style combat system. So when I attack, down at the bottom of the screen there, you can see that it like goes from zero to 100%. So if I attack before it hits 100%, my attack doesn't do much damage at all. So you have to kind of time your attacks so that you're attacking when that bar reaches 100%. It's a very, very cool combat system. In fact, maybe my favorite ever. Just just a very well, well done combat system. See, I do like no damage because I didn't have 100% on my bar. So you gotta juke and jive and then hit him. Also, the magic system in this game is so good. It's so good, you gotta be ready for that. All right, just whacking some rabbites, no big deal. Hello, rabbite bro. Now, I'm a grinder in RPGs, and this is an RPG that benefits a lot from grinding. So we're gonna be doing some grinding along the way. I'll probably cut a lot of the grinding out for YouTube uh, if I can figure out how to uh, you know, edit it out, but we're gonna be doing quite a bit of grinding eventually. Not right now, not, not quite yet, but down the road. Err. That said, I won't pass an opportunity to fight any enemy. I will, I will never skip enemies if I can avoid it. If I, if, unless I'm a, in imminent danger of just dying to them. Whack. Wapa. Wapa. And another really cool thing about this game this was a multiplayer game, so later on you get like, ooh, we got sword level one. I'll tell you guys what that does in a second. Uh, but later on you get other characters in your party and you can play this game with multiple people, each person playing a different character. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. I never really utilized that much as a kid, but my friends did play with me from time to time and it was a lot of fun. Very fun game to play with multiple people. Urgh. 
You wabite. You wascally wabite. Got it. All right, so let's talk about charging your sword. So if you hold down the attack button past 100%, now that my sword is at level one, I can charge it up and deal big damages. Big damages, yeah. Wow. 21, great number. One of the best numbers. So we wanna charge it up. And here's the thing. Uh, you get a bunch of different weapons in this game. Each weapon you have to level up separately on each character. So yeah, there's a lot of grinding option opportunity. You can you can do it without grinding. You don't need to grind in this game. Don't don't think that this is a grindy, super grindy game. You don't need to. But to get some of the really fun, cool, like the level nine sword techniques and stuff, uh, there is a bit of grinding and it's it's so worth it. Oh, we got three wabbits. Wabites. All stacked up, ready to be whacked by our level one attackerino. Okie dokie. Ooh, man, we are far from the village. How did we get so far from the village? Those Elliot and Timothy, they really, they really sent us out on a wild goose chase, didn't they? Oh, is this the village now? Did we make it back finally? Oh, hey, there we go. Hello. Did you see that, Mike? A minute ago, something lit up the sky near the falls. I have a real bad feeling about this. Oh no, I actually did see that. That was kind of uh, me. Why would that be bad though? I don't understand. Hello. Hey Mike, stop playing with that sword before you hurt someone. Uh, but I needed it to get home. Uh, but I can stop playing with it now, I guess. I don't need it anymore. That's all right. There's a strange guy in here. He looks kind of scary. Huh, I wonder who that could be. That guy seems to be a knight from somewhere. What's he doing here? What is a knight doing in this town? Hey, barkeep, I would like a coffee, please. Oh, it's you, Mike. Elliot was pale and about to faint. What happened? Uh, well, I fell off a bridge and, you know, into some water down below. And then, well, then I walked around this little path and I couldn't get through these bushes, so I needed something to cut them down. And the sword started calling to me, and I was like, hmm, well, I need a sword to cut through this path so I can get back home. So I went and I pulled this sword out of the stone, and it told me that it was like a magic spirit, and that it had the power of mana or something. I don't really know. I, I didn't really understand, but I got this sword now, and it's pretty cool, right? Too much information? Okay, sorry. Uh, carrying on. Dot, dot, dot. Well, you are a scary man, aren't you, mister? With your purplish, pinkish hair. I do like that. Maybe that's a helmet. I can't tell. Can't tell. Hey. Mike, on an errand for the Elder. Best hurry along. What'll it be? Huh. Are we wearing any gear? Let's find out. There's a cool menu system in this game as well. So check this out. The menus are these, uh, these circles that go around you. So we've got our items here. We've got two candy. We've got our weapons here. And then we've got all this other insane stuff. So let's take a look at our equipment. So we are wearing overalls. We're not wearing a bandana, even though it looks like we're wearing a bandana. We're not. Uh, we can also, what, what else can we do here? We can edit our windows. Oh, I'm, I've never been much of a customizer in games, but let's, let's customize a little bit. 
What, what window do we want? I think I like this one. This looks pretty cool. And the background can be that, sure. So wait, what? Uh... What are those color things on the right for? Can I go to them somehow? We'll stick with this. Whoa. Okay, maybe we won't stick with this. That's hard to read. Hold on. Let's try this again. <laughs> ah! We made it. We made it way too hard on ourselves to read. Let's uh. Let's go ahead and you know. Maybe we're just gonna do nothing in the background. Maybe. No, that actually. Not easy to read either. What else you got? This. It's all right. Let's try uh, the vertical lines. What about that? I think that seems like the best. I feel like that seems like the best option here. So, I want to use those. Oh, okay. So change the color gauge by pressing A, X, or Y down. Oh, you hold it down. I see. I see. So we can make the background color. Ooh. All right, let's see how hard to read that is. Ah! Okay, just <laughs> nothing to see here. It looks kind of sweet though, doesn't it? Hmm. Are we gonna play like this? No, that's burning my retinas. I can't read like that, but I like it. Ah, I want it. Okay, can't always get what you want. Oops. How about this? Still burning my retinas. What about just like that? That looks pretty nice. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with this. All right, we've customized something that I've never customized in this game before. So, doing new things already. Are you ready for this? Okay, now we can edit our controllers. All right, so. Hmm. What is allies icons and your icons? I think we want that. See how this, how do we get out of here now? Oops. <laughs> so this way we dash with B and attack with A. What I want, I think, is... Ooh. The y to be attack. Let's try this. So Y is attack now, B is dash. X pulls up that menu. 
Oh, and then A would pull up Ally's menu? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Ooh, nice. Okay, what about Action Grid? So this is what the person will do when they are controlled by the computer. So we're just gonna have them be aggressive and attack. Check out our weapon and magic level. We've got a rusty sword at level one. As you can see, there are plenty of weapons in this game and you can see what levels you have on all of them. Can you also see your... Uh, Push attack to see data. Type sword, energy orb, one out of one. Okay. Status. We have all these stats. 41% of 8%. Okay. Anything else we need to know here? Targeting. All right, apparently we can't go to that yet. Okay. Well, we've explored the menus. Go us. One night is five GP. Want to stay? Nah, I'm good. Thank you. Save your game? Yes, I do want to save my game. Help! Monsters have surrounded the village. Something's wrong. We better stay inside. Help. I'm sorry, buddy. I'll help you if I can. Hello, old man. Mike, you're not hurt. They just told me what happened. I thought you were a goner. I told you it was stupid to bring someone like him along. You idiots. Weren't you told not to go there? Huh? Mike, what's that you have? Oh no, it couldn't be. Cool, did you find the treasure? Way to go. What have you done? How could you have pulled out the mana sword? It's impossible. The mana sword? Legend has it that our village is finished. If the sword is removed, and here it is. It's said that the mana sword has been protecting our village from disaster. So that's it. That's why all the monsters are attacking us now. No, no, it couldn't be me. I didn't do anything. How could it, an outsider like you yank the, out the sword and bring doom on us all? No. Hey, stop it. You did it. No, I didn't do anything. It's not, it's your fault. No, it's not my fault. You, please, please stop. Wah, earthquake. Ah! Uh oh. Ah! Oh no. Uh, help, a, a monster. You have a sword, don't you? Use it. Why should I help you? You just, you just did this to me. What do I do? What do I do? Hey, can you hear me? Watch how the monster moves before attacking. Okay. How does the monster move? Uh, 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 uh. How do you move, monster? Oh, you jump. Wow. Uh oh. Oh man, Mike's unconscious. Oh no. Uh, I don't, can I dodge that? That seems bad. Acid breath. Uh. Hey. Don't you hit me with undodgeable attacks. Guy telling me that I need to freaking pay attention to how it moves and then this thing just throws undodgeable attacks at me. Rude. Acid breath. Why does it get magic? This is not fair. Ah! I'm coming for you, Mantis Ant. Mantis Ant, I'm coming for you. Uh-oh. Gem Missile. And you jumped on my head. Rah! Yes! We got him, guys. We got him. Ha, 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 ha. Whew. That Mantis Ant. Where could such a monstrous beast have come from? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Way to go. Got the sword's orb. You did it. Wait there, I'll pull you up. Thanks. Wah! Get out of here, Elliot. You did that to begin with. That appears to be the real mana sword. Huh? What? It is supposed to be pulled out by a knight in times of great trouble. Problem is, you're too young. Something must have happened to the mana sword. Here, it's yours. Take it. I don't want it. Take it, please. Sorry, but the, the sword is losing its power and it must be re-energized. Only the person who pulled it free can do that. You're kidding me. What? I, I did not sign up for this. What should I do? Visit Sage Luca in the Water Palace. She's been protecting these lands for over 200 years. Listen to her advice. All right. I guess we can do that. Mike, the elder wants you in his house. Well, I have to be off. Oh, my name is Gemma. Gemma. I'll wait for you inside the water palace. I hear there's good music in there, so let's go visit that. What's up, Timothy? Get going! Rude. What if I don't want to quite yet? What if I want to come over here and buy some candy? Oh, my nerves are shot. Whew, my nerve. You're not going to sell me anything? All right. Guess we'll... Ooh, we're, we're back to happy time music. Can I jump back down the hole? No, I can't. Okay. Let's go talk to the elder then like we're supposed to. Elder, we can't go on like this. Yeah, there's no relief in sight. Oh, Mike. You've really done it to me this time. The reason why monsters have appeared is because you removed the sword. It's settled. We can't let Mike stay in the village anymore. If we do, more monsters will come after him. Go. Get out of here. Yeah, on your way now. I don't want to do this, but I have no choice. I'm going to have to ask that you leave the village. But I I'm just a kid. Where am I supposed to go? You can take what's inside the treasure chest downstairs. Oh, well, uh, thanks, I guess. Better be good. Hello, little kid. Heading out. See you later. Uh, probably not. I'm being exiled from the village. Found 50 GP. Well, 50 GP is better than a sharp stick in the eye, I guess. I took you in and I raised you, but there's nothing else I can do to help. Please, forgive me. I know I've told you this before, but... Your mother brought you to our village when you were just a baby. Soon afterwards, she disappeared. I took you and have done my best to raise you, but now we must part. I truly hope you can find your mother someday. Goodbye, Mike. Goodbye, Elder. See ya. Man, that sucks. What do we do now? Will you sell us stuff at least? I'm only selling you stuff because the Elder ordered it. Well, thanks, I guess. So. Buy a bunch of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a medical herb. Ooh, a medical herb. Ooh, a medical herb. Ooh, a medicinal herb. Ooh, a medical herb. Oh, can't carry anymore. Ooh, bandana. We already have a bandana. No, we don't have a bandana. Buy a bandana. Ooh, we bought everything you have. Anything else? Nope. 
You have to equip new armor for it to protect you. Okay. Thanks. All right, we got a bandana. We are so protected. Let's go. Have everything you need? Yeah, well, I guess. You are hereby banished from the Potos village. Now get out of here. All right. Well, what do we do now? Cannon Travel Center. That sounds dangerous. Cannon Travel Center. Oh, it's right here. Let's talk to this guy. What's up, buddy? 